Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm going to show you how to make a roll cake, a simpler way. This recipe is foolproof, produces nice and fluffy cake that is super pliable and rolls beautifully with no cracks. You don't need to roll it while it's hot to create a memory or anything like that. It's really fast, it's really simple, so let's get started. For this recipe, you will need eggs, a little bit vegetable oil, a little bit milk. You can use any kind of milk, whole milk, skim milk. I'm using almond milk today and sugar, cake flour, baking powder and a little bit salt and vanilla extract. So first we'll need to separate the egg whites and egg yolks. It's very similar to my sponge cake recipe, but with a few additional ingredients. Be careful not to include any egg yolks into your whites. It's easier to separate your eggs while they're cold. My eggs come to room temperature while I was preparing everything, and it's a little harder to separate the egg whites and the yolks break really easy. So if when you are doing it, make sure to crack them and separate them right away out of the fridge. Now I'm going to whip the egg whites with half of the sugar until it reaches stiff peaks. Now once it starts foaming, I'll start adding the sugar one tablespoon at a time and then whip it until it's nice and stiff peaks. So my egg whites are whipped really nicely. Stiff peaks. This is good enough. We just don't want it to be too runny. And now I'm going to transfer the egg whites into a bowl because we're going to use the mixing bowl again for the egg yolks. So we whip the egg whites first because we can reuse this bowl without washing for the egg yolks. Now, if you would um, whip the egg yolks first, then you will have to wash all the whisk and bowls before using for egg whites because any contact of oil with egg whites, it won't whip it to this nice meringue stage. Now we'll add the egg yolks into the mixer with the remaining sugar and then we will whisk it until it's nice and pale yellow and at least tripled in size. So my egg yolks are whipped really nicely. Look at this mixture, super thick and at least tripled, if not quadrupled in size, exactly how you want it. It adds nice volume to your cake. It will be super fluffy. Now we'll add about a third of your egg whites into the egg yolk mixture, and then we'll gently fold it. Be very careful to not deflate the mixture. If you would add all the egg whites into the yolks, it will be harder to incorporate and combine the two mixtures, and you will end up folding it too much, and it will deflate too much air. So be careful in working stages. When it's mostly incorporated like so, we'll add the remaining egg whites. And then again, gently fold it. It's truly beautiful batter. Now into the batter, we're going to sift our dry ingredients. Cake flour tends to clump a lot, so we will have to sift it so that it doesn't have any clumps. And into the flour, we'll add baking powder and salt. And just... And again, we're going to fold it gently until all the dry ingredients are incorporated. Again, be very careful not to deflate the batter. Now, we're going to combine your milk and vegetable oil and a little bit vanilla extract. And then we'll add a little bit batter into this mixture and fold it. 
I've made this roll cake without milk and vegetable oil too, and it works and it rolls beautifully without cracking. But adding additional ingredients make them more moist and flavorful. The reason we're mixing this with a little bit better is because Again, we don't want to deflate this batter too much by mixing too many times. And um, incorporating a little bit batter first with this mixture helps us to distribute it evenly throughout the batter easier. So don't skip it. Don't be tempted to put everything in there right away. Now once it's almost pretty much well combined, we'll add it back into the batter. and gently fold it until it's incorporated. Make sure to dig deeper down into the bottom of your cake batter so that everything is mixed well. Okay, the batter is looking great. Look how silky, smooth, and fluffy the batter is exactly how you want it. Now we'll Transfer the batter into a baking sheet. I have a baker's half baking sheet lined with parchment paper. You can use silicone mat if you would like as well. And then we'll just pour the batter in and distribute it evenly throughout the baking pan. And you want your batter to be super smooth on top. That way your cake, roll cake, will look nice. And to smooth it out, I like to use a bench scraper like so. And just smooth it out. Because the cake batter is not going to even out during baking, it's very important to take your time to do this step this top surface of your cake is going to be outside of your cake. So if it's very uneven and whatnot, then your cake will look a little uneven. If you don't really care about those kind of things, by all means skip it, but I like it to be nice and even. Now I'm going to bake this at 375 degrees for about 15 minutes until the toothpick comes out clean and I'll see you in a bit. So my cake is baked and completely cooled and I'm going to run offset spatula around the edges so it's easier to flip it over and comes out easily. Flip it over, peel off the parchment paper. Is that beautiful or what? And now we're going to trim the edges. And here's a quick tip. On the one end of your cake, cut it at an angle. I'll show you later, it's just a more visual tip. And today we're going to fill the sponge cake with just simple dulce de leche. I shared a quick shorts video how to make dulce de leche with just one ingredient. It's really easy. And also on my website, I have a complete guide with three methods and describing each method, pros and cons of each method, and my favorite method as well. So check it out and it's really flavorful. Like I said, this sponge cake is not as dry as my classic sponge cake with three ingredients because we added oil and milk but nonetheless I like to brush on a little bit milk in this case today I'm going to use almond milk as well because I used it in the recipe and just lightly soak the cake layer if this is optional for my other sponge cake recipes I usually don't do this step but I sometimes fill it with a whipped cream filling and that's very moist and today I'm just going to use dulce de leche alone that's why I want to brush on a little bit milk to give a little extra moisture. I love roll cake and this is one of my first cakes I learned to make when I was a kid and uh, very simple 
to make and you can decorate and fill with whatever you want on my website i have a few variations of different sponge cake like matcha roll cake chocolate roll cake and classic roll cake with whipped cream and berries which is really awesome summer recipe and instead of milk you can also use any type of liqueurs like Kahlua would be really delicious too, coffee liqueur, and it's just, um, oh, Baileys, Kahlua Baileys are such a great additions. Okay, now we're going to smear the dulce de leche. If yours is super thick, you can go ahead and warm it up in the microwave for like 20 seconds or so and mix it well. And instead of um, dulce de leche, you could always use jam too. We don't need too much of dulce de leche because it's rich, just a thin layer. Okay, good. Now we're going to turn it this way because we're going to roll it from the short end. How gorgeous. So here's the tip I was talking about. You see, when it's at an, cut in an angle, it lays flatter and nicer this way. Now we'll go ahead and trim the ends of the cake just so it looks nicer. This would be a cook's treat. Transfer it onto a platter. And then we'll want to refrigerate it and let it set for just um, an hour or so or until you're ready to serve. You can shake some powdered sugar on top as well before serving. Right now it won't make sense if you drizzle it now because it will just melt back in, but in the fridge it goes and I'll show you in a little bit the taste test. So I plated my cake and dusted with some powdered sugar and let's give it a quick taste test, shall we? It's easiest to cut the cake with a serrated knife. Cuts better. Look at that, how pretty. It's very simple. Like I said, you can fill it with whatever you would like. Whipped cream is a very common filling. I love fruits in it as well. Check out my website for all the different recipes this is the base of many of the different flavors i have on my website let's give it a try so good because of the milk that we drizzled it's super moist i really hope you enjoyed this recipe and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye